friends, today the video I'm making is about HAL Tejas, attempted production program of aircraft by India. I must inform you about the HAL Tejas program is a failed project by India. It's more or like flying a pile of rubbish or that is what is well known by majority in aviation's world. I will share all history in the video with you about this failed program of HAL Tejas. The purpose of making my video is I am tired of seeing media news stories by India making exclusive press releases on reading that they are doing very well. But apparently it's one failure story after another repeatedly. The Indian media is repeatedly exaggerating the stories of Hal Tejats to its own country's public masses, that they are by far on the right direction. They are saying it is the world's best and most technological advanced aircraft, etc. to their own masses. Another story released on January 26, 2016, the Tejas will attempt to fly in an air show. May I inform you, for the last 37 years, the Tejas press release stories are confirming it is on the right direction. Now it's well over 38 years since announced date and Tejas is not flyable yet alone going into mass production. In July 2016, the Indian Air Force inducted Tejas Mark I model program into its Air Force. By 2025, the Mark II tape jazz will finally be ready for delivery. Now let me iterate. It's been 30 plus years is a lot of years for any aircraft to develop in its progressive timeline. But the HAL Tejas has had a retarded timeline. Any nation to progress 30 years is a lot of time in its own to advance. Singapore advanced its economy in a much shorter time. Not only did they innovate, but took our whole country into another level. But the Indian Air Force has spent over $2 billion to date on this project already. They have been unable to make any progress and virtually this Hal Tejas is a flying rubbish field box to date. Then they are calling Hal Tejas as the last chance combat aircraft. If we glance at opposite side of well known the JF-17 manufacturers, they started the project with Chinese collaboration and Pakistan, in, initiated in 1995 launching by spending only 500 million dollars on its research and development. By 2007, the fighter campaign project by Pakistan was ready. The first flight was already successful in 2003 of the JF-17. However, the final version was worldwide known in 2007, which was ready successful in only 11 or 11 and a half years, merely. In the meantime, India was asking technical assistance from America and Israel constantly to develop for its program. If glancing at factual basis, this is the biggest blunder of Indian government with the numerous other blunders as well. The cost of Hal Tejas is over 
per unit cost is $35 million. In this price, the Indian government can easily buy Saab Gripen fighters off the shelf or any other for sale fighters available from the military market without wasting any money on junk. During 1983s, the Indian government started Light Hal Tejas program to replace the decaying MiG-21 aircraft from Russia in its IAF fleet. The project was assigned to Hindustan Aeronautical Industries and seeking assistance from Israel and France. Up to 1990, India couldn't help itself, rather uselessness of the Halit Hal Tejas program attempted in total failure. So consequently, they lost four years completely in this phase. They say 12 years is a lot of years to come up with a working solution of aircraft fighter from zero and build on it. But thanks to India's incompetence, they have added 30 years to a paperless aircraft instead of steel aircraft to be made. Then India tried to develop the Hal Tejas technology transfer program by, but due to lack of funding, up to 1993 and between 1998, work in progress stopped totally. The development of a flyby wire system was attempted. Indian engineers wanted they develop themselves, but to make a flyby wire system is no easy task. One needs to have great knowledge and flight data and controls with coding needed to be written according to communicate with instruments. Also, the fly-by-wire avionics and electronics integration is required. India tried but failed in this particular time. There was no option left for Indian government but to ask assistance from different governments so Indian government asked Lockheed Martin and for multi-mode radar and frontier defense system who make multi-mode radar and specialize in it to gain assistance in their way to copy France's multi-mode system for their own Indian use and started calling they made their own radar system when they clearly bought and copied it. By 2002 they started by 2004 they lost more time and didn't even come up with anything yet again on the fly-by-wire system. Another four years were lost. They realized, by 2006, they realized in multi-mode radar the advanced compatibility issues existed in the Indian program yet again. They assured Israel and France they will come up with a working solution for the advanced radar functionality on own in due time frame but yet was another failure. Once. For the Hal Tejas engines, there were optimistic sources inside India that they'll come up with homemade engine. But instead, they used General Electric engine of the F404 for which the name Kavaria was set. The Indians yet again failed in production of its engine even with assistance from getting from France in 2004. Finally, the Eurojet EJ engine was selected for its HAL Tejas program, in which another two years were added and the unit cost per aircraft fighter of the HAL Tejas was increased by a factor of two. After crying help from their god, they finally got around making 
the health Tejas in 2016 to 2017 in which they boasted yet again to the public that India shares in the project were about 90% which was a total lie. The actual figures of Indian participation was 55 to 60% while remaining 35 and 40% shares came from international markets. But they said 95% was Indian origin. Well, everyone knew about India's media propaganda of boasting the 90% remark by their media. But in actual realities, only 10 to 15% was Indian origin development, while 90 to 85% was participation by foreign countries in the health ages program. Finally, in July 2016, its first maiden flight was tested and a total of 32,000 flight hours have been able to test. The HAL Tejas was inducted, but the IAF has failed to lure in international markets customers. And also the Indian Air Force failed to induct large quantities of the HAL Tejas numbering in 300 to 500 required aircrafts to replace its MiG-21s. So they only bought about 83 HAL Tejases because they knew of a bad, hopeless track record. And on the contrary, while the Indian Navy has rejected totally the HAL Tejas program altogether, saying that it's too heavy and they will opt for a foreign supplier. Well, I just hope that the information was informative in bringing in light to the realities or the factual factuality of the of the Indian Health Tejas program.